Hi everyone. Today we're in Niagara Falls and we're right by the border at the Queenston Lewiston Bridge. And we're going to do a walk today from here where I'm at, which is called uh, Smeaton's Cove. And it's a nice area right off of the Niagara Parkway where they have picnic tables and if you just want to kind of maybe you're going for a drive and you just want to pull off to the side and you can come out and have this nice view of the Niagara River and the, the border crossing here with the nice bridge and you can see all the turkey vultures hovering flying around There's many of them. So we're gonna start our walk from here and we're gonna go to the floral clock. So let's go. So I had my lunch here today. I brought a salad and I had a Tim Hortons coffee and I pretty much had the whole place to myself. <laughs> There's some people coming now riding their bikes and you'll get a lot of that here. People riding their bikes through because there's a trail here. You'll see people walking. But it's just a nice area that's quiet off of the main road. A lot of the times on the weekend, it gets a little busier here. You get families picnicking and barbecuing and, you know, they'll have a whole setup with uh, their tents and blankets. And so, yeah, it's a nice place to do that. Thank you. 
there's a big monument here about the four o'clock, which is where we're gonna go. And it says the four o'clock was built by Ontario Hydro in 1950 and maintained by the gardeners of the Niagara Parks Commission. It requires 19,000 plants to cover the 12.2 meters, 40 foot diameter face. The stainless steel hour hand is 14 feet long and 14.5 feet long. The minute hand is 17.5 feet long and the second hand is 21 feet long. And it has Westminster, Westminster chimes. Okay, so that tells you a little bit about it. And let's go over and see it now. So from what I learned, it says that this clock was inspired by the Ontario Hydro Chairman, Dr. Richard L. Hearn, and it was based from a famous clock that he saw in Edinburgh, Scotland. It's a little bit windy here today, so you might hear a little bit of a wind noise, so sorry about that. This clock is the largest of its kind in the world and like you heard from what I read on the, the plaque back, back there that it's 40 feet in diameter and um, another interesting thing about it is that the hour hand weighs 500 pounds, the minute hand weighs 500 pounds. And the second hand weighs 250 pounds. So that's pretty, pretty heavy. Now, um, every year, Niagara Parks, uh, they create a new design and they change the whole design of the face of the clock with plants. And I think they said it was around 20,000 plants or so. Um, so this year they did a heart design. And then it's the, you can see up there, it says Niagara Parks all around the face of the clock. So I think that looks beautiful. Um, what else? And you can see down here they have a nice pond with there's fish in it and goldfish and it's just an interesting clock all around it's it brings a lot of people here every year so if you're in the area you should definitely stop by and take a look at it take some pictures because it's something to see for sure Just one more little piece of information. Uh, did you know that the word clock comes with, from the French word cloche, which means bell? I didn't know that, so now I do. And in case some of you didn't know. So I thought that was pretty interesting. around. You can see there's the, the bell tower here where they, they would chime.
one. There's a, a sign here that talks about uh, the generating station that's right nearby. There's Ontario Hydro building right here. Oh, it's chiming. Oh, yay. Well, that worked out nicely. So it just tells you when um, the generating station was built and all that type of info, but I'm gonna save that for another video because I'm gonna do a nice walk along there next time. Or hopefully in a video coming up pretty soon. this building up here in front of us I think that's where washrooms are and there's like a concession stand where you can buy food and drinks over there and then over here you got the whirlpool jet boat tours ticket booth you can buy tickets there just shows you the whole area all around and way down there there's many more picnic tables gives you options if you want to spend some time here and picnic and come enjoy the clock so that's gonna be the end of today's video and thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video if you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up and hopefully you subscribe so that you don't miss out on more videos to come and uh, stay tuned for the next video and uh, bye for now.